welcome to a new episode. Um, again, this is remembering, uh, thinking, exploring, uh, try to make sense of it. So, well, thank you for listening. So this is a recording of a post that I did um, some, um, I think a couple of months ago. Uh, anyway, it is an extract of my next book that I am working on, uh, a book which hasn't got a title yet, but here it goes. My name is Rebecca E. Wilkinson. I'm as old as the mountains and I died and I was then born again many times and every time it felt important. Of course, I barely remember any details, but it was always a rainy Wednesday, cold and damp, my favourite day. That kind of Wednesday when you're alone in the house, no one breathes but the wood embracing you and you can distinctively hear the scratching of graphite on paper and nothing else. Just those Wednesdays made out of warm soup with anise and clothes, large jumpers, only socks and melancholia. But I'm not at home now. I'm sitting in a large, silky, leathery, vermilion old chair, tax and all. The room is perfectly square and my shoulders rest uncomfortably within the dimension of the space and the direction the chair is facing. I feel like the, a needle of a compass vacuumed under glass. I feel I should move this darn thing I'm sitting on, but it's old hall panelled in weathered oak. It rains and it is Wednesday. It's late and this is my second whiskey. There are about 50 people, I like to call them my old deluded boyfriend, who are waiting for me to walk out there and entertain them. They're all either weirdly interested in stories they don't really understand and wait for the celebrity writer, the fame and the pizzazz followed by canapes and cherry, or so old that they are just there because someone dragged them while inveigling them by senses flattering. Pathetic. But the whisk is good, and I still have about ten minutes alone before being thrown on the stage, and I could do with some olives, black, pitted. You know, the line between being a published researcher and an entitled rock star is just so fine. Have you got your notes ready? Yes, I have, I answer. I mean, you have given this talk so many times, you shouldn't know it by heart. I finish the sentence. I know, I know. It's been the same talk for the past couple of years, the same panelled rooms, the same red chairs, the same whiskey, the same sleepy eyes of the men in the first two rows in tweed jackets, gently nodding, probably to some resurfaced 50-year-old memories. As usual, I'm wearing my I know what I'm on about a uniform of smooth jeans and light blue converse that my knees will <laughs> tremendously regret tomorrow. A white linen shirt and a blue jacket in such soft cotton, you wouldn't believe it's actually real. I wear red lipstick because, why not? And I leave half of it on the glass because, why not? And here the beginning of my book ends. Till next time. So this is it, one episode's done, now more journaling, more thinking, uh, more walking outdoors and elucubrating, which is always a good verb to use. So if you want to know more about me, you will be able to find me on Instagram and you are able also to find me on my website, which is www.matildetaumat.com. Okay, see you around. Bye.